Athlete of the Week, sponsored by Big Chief Beef Jerky. Bite me. Glenn's back with us. David is delivering up some pretty perfect weather for Cross Country Nationals tomorrow. Yeah, and I talked to some of the teams. They said they were worried it was going to be too warm. Hey, at least it's not <laughs> snowing. It could be 30 below. Yeah, exactly. For the first time in school history, the St. Trojans are hosting the Cross Country National Championship. 220 athletes will converge on Confederation Park for the Nationals on Saturday. The number one ranked team on the women's side is the Grand Prairie Wolves. Morel Martins is one of the leaders on the team. Don't be surprised if she medals tomorrow. Not bad for a gal who just took up competitive running a couple of years ago. I'm a little surprised. It's 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 cool. It's nice. Um, I I feel like um, I can definitely improve still for sure, and I'm looking forward to seeing how far. Hopefully, I can go. Morel also plays soccer for Grand Prairie. Good thing the Wolves didn't make it to the Nationals in that sport. She would have had a long trip to get to the Soccer Nationals. They're being held in Medicine Hat this weekend. She actually had to do that last weekend at the Provincials. As for the men, Fenshaw College out of Ontario has been a dominant force uh, in the Cross Country Nationals. They're the defending champs. They've won eight of the now last nine national championships. So why is this team so good? A lot of teams, when they think about Fanshawe, they always think that there's something there's something about this team. We have this sort of chemistry that, you know, we're just a really close family. We we just work really well together. Now the women's race gets underway at noon. The men will follow at one o'clock at Confederation Park. Meanwhile, it's playoff time for the UFC Dinos this weekend. They'll face the Regina Rams.